Hey, what's up guys? Andy here, and today we're reviewing over Dr. Stone Episode 2, titled King of the Stone World. Now, this episode was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it was just a little bit slow to me. Uh, it had a lot of good things in it, and had a lot of good potential that are moving forward and kind of setting up a story for this. But I'm really curious on what they were kind of going for with this. I'm, I'm not exactly positive on it, but we'll, we'll get into all that in a minute. Uh, for now, though, what I want to talk about is the fact that <laughs> we have Tsukasa, or Shishio. Shishio, I think? I'm not sure. Anyway, though, uh, he's here. He's the big old brute guy that I was so excited for uh, before the series started, and we finally got him. So, I mean, it's a good thing, I guess. But uh, with that being said, I want to go ahead and jump right into this review. So, if y'all do enjoy the video, or y'all just want to help me out in general, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And let's just jump right into it. They say you don't so we start things off here with a major recap of episode one. I didn't really like this, but you know, it's a first, second episode, so it's alright. Uh, we come to find out next that, you know, Sinku don't give a damn who's first. You know, he's gonna be getting everybody, so it doesn't matter. So he goes, Taiju, it's your choice. And of course, Taiju's gonna pick, you know, Uzihara. So, we cut into the intro and title card here, uh, King of the Stone World, and we cut over here, and Taiju's like, are you sure it's gonna work? He's like, yeah, I tested it on a broken piece of corpse. And he's like, you're so disrespectful, and he's like, I tried putting it back together first, but you can't bring back the dead. So if they're broken apart, they cannot come back. That's a good piece of information. We cut over here now to where he's like, I'm gonna bring you back to life right now. I'm so sorry it took this long. And then he notices that she's naked. So he goes, we can't bring her back like this. We gotta take her back to camp and get clothes on her. <laughs> and Sinku is like, what do you mean? Hey, oh, this is a stone wall. It doesn't matter if your butt's out or your dick's hanging. He goes, Yuzihara, <laughs> Yuzihara, her name's not Yuzihara. It's Yuzihara, doesn't have a dick. And he's like, that's not the point. And so they're walking back to camp with her, and that's when a lion attacks. So, apparently this lion was from the zoo, and in this, you know, in the stone world, the humans aren't at the top of the food chain anymore. So this thing knows what it's doing here. And Taiju goes to pretty much sacrifice himself here and say, Sinku, you go ahead, humanity needs you, I'll hold them off. And he goes, if we're going to run, we need to run together. I need you. You're my brawn. But that's when they run into Sukasa's corpse. And he goes, just trust me on this. Get him. And he goes, Yuzuriha, we'll get you later. I promise. I'm sorry. This dude comes out, and he's so badass. I mean, it's kind of overly comedic to the point to where it's, like, funny, though, you know? He goes, you know, he knocks out one of the lines. He goes, I promise you one thing. You two will never be in danger again, which was really cool. Uh, but it was overly dramatic, in my opinion. He's a little too strong than what he needs to be. Because he goes, now that I'm on your side, you'll never have any shortage of prey again. He brings like four <laughs> boars back, five gooses, and a shit ton of fish, all but just bare hands. So, you know, whatever. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> Sinku's talking about what's the most important thing we need, and, uh, Taiju's like, smartphones, and he's like, no, we need lime, P well, pretty much, he says calcium carbonate, and he goes, uh, <laughs> Taiju goes, well, then we're looking for a gym storage room, right, and he goes, yeah, that's exactly right, Taiju, except for, you know, we're 3,700 years into the future, there's nothing left, you know, it was, it was a funny scene. He then goes on to self-hype uh, Lime here. He's like, there are four insanely useful ways we can use it. The first, agriculture. The second, basic concrete. And the third, soap. It's our Dr. Stone. But then, you know, Ted was like, wasn't well, there a fourth? And he goes, no, man, I only said three. And this is where Senku's starting to get suspicion on Tsukasa kind of being like a secondary player here. We cut over to the beach, and uh, 
Sukasa is pretty much just breaking a statue here, and he goes, we only need to bring back the youth. If we bring back the old, at first, yeah, sure, they'll be grateful, but then they'll just rob the poor youth, youth of our future again. And he goes, I'm going to use the power of science to rescue every single person, no matter what. So, I mean, Sukasa's got a point. If they bring back adults, I mean, power and corruption will indefinitely come back. But, I mean, it's going to come back regardless. I mean, that's the human way. So, I mean, that's the end of the episode. Uh, I, was, I wasn't I was super excited about the recap moment. I feel like it's a little bit too long. Uh, I wasn't particularly stoked on the way uh, it ended. I feel like, you know, there's something definitely playing into a bigger story here. But for now, I don't know what that bigger story is. So I'm kind of like, damn. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, it was still a good episode nonetheless. I enjoyed it. So, you know, just one of those things, you know. It takes a series just a little while to get picked up and steamrolling. You know, the first episode is always going to be better than the second, in my opinion. So... Well, in typical anime, I've seen a few that break that mold, but yeah, I guess with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and head on out of here so I can get this up for y'all. I hope y'all do enjoy, and if y'all do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out. Right here, feeling like a sub gear, driving towards the sun with a rose and a gun.